Fruit Force. This is Captain Fruit reporting for another episode of Road Rage. For those of you that are new to the channel, Road Rage is where I'm usually driving or walking or whatever. I'm somehow mobile and I'm just doing an off the cuff discussion about topics that interest me today, usually comics and games, that I would hope they'd be able to get a response back from you guys to have just a nice, friendly conversation. You can do it in the comment section all you want. Um, so anyway, today I wanted to talk about Iron Fist Season 2 on Netflix. I uh, Honestly, I haven't watched it yet, but I'm looking forward to it. I know some people are like, wait a minute, why are you looking forward to Iron Fist on Netflix? It was, the first season took a pretty hard hit from the critics and, you know, general consumers alike. And, and I understand that. It was far from perfect. It really was. And I've seen a lot of issues, too. Like, the fight scenes should have been tremendous, and they weren't. Because Iron Fist is an awesome fighter. He needs to be. Uh, in his defense, I think he only had 14 days to get ready for that. But he, there was a lot of other problems with that, too. But anyway, uh, you know, I've only seen the previews. And from the previews of Season 2, I'm looking pretty excited. The fight scenes look better. And I'm hoping... I'm hoping they straighten up the ship here. I'm hoping we get more of the Iron Fist that we saw in Season 2 of Luke Cage that he came to visit. That camaraderie is one of the things I love between those two characters. Matter of fact, I wish they would do a Power Man Iron Fist series. That would be great with those two because those two just have that awesome relationship. And who knows, maybe they'll build, that, uh, build on that. I would love to see that, but season two is looking looking uh, more interesting to me by the day. Um, we're gonna see Iron Fist with a mask on. I think it might just be in flashbacks, though. I'm not sure. I said I don't have time to binge watch all these things like a lot of people do. <laughs> I just can't do it. Uh, but I'm really hoping to watch an episode tonight, fearing that all my work gets done and I and I can have time to do it. So I'm, I'm I'm definitely digging it. I've always I've been an Iron Fist fan since I can remember. Uh, you know, it was one of the earlier books I read. He, he was a cool character. He came out during the Kung Fu martial arts craze, and for a while that you know it, it went it was when it, popularity died. The series were you know pretty much canceled, and, and the character was almost shelved. And what I say by almost is, I just mean you didn't see him much. Same with Luke Cage. Then they uh, then they started making Luke Cage more prominent. They brought in Iron Fist too, and started giving him a little more attention. And then they started trying to put more attention in those characters again. And it's been hit and miss ever since. And for example, like the last series of Luke Cage was was awful. It was not a good series. The artwork was mediocre throughout, and the story was mediocre as well uh the first half of it or so well the majority of the arc looked like it was just somebody that was using 3d pictures to trace over it just it didn't have any impact and power in it and the last part the last story arc of it the art was just not good at all it was a different style altogether but it just wasn't good Iron Fist, the other last series, I thought was good. Yeah, I thought the art was fantastic for the book, and the stories, for the most part, were pretty tight and pretty good. But the series just didn't catch on. I don't know. Marvel needs to market good books better. They keep wanting to market diverse books, and I can understand that. You want to get new markets. But they didn't market the books, too, that had great potential with established characters. That's a big misstep. But you know what, if you're interested in that kind of stuff and social media and marketing, getting the word out and stuff, just watch my last video that I put up, okay? Uh, the previous one about Joe Quesada, you know, and misunderstanding how to interact there. Um, but ultimately, Marvel needs better marketing on that. But anyway, I I'm really, I'm looking forward to some good Iron Fist. I really, I mean, if Iron Fist has done well, it could be a fantastic character with a fantastic story. Iron Fist done bad of course it's going to be just like any other character it's going to be looked at poorly but you don't get many times to be on television and in movies and things to catch the public eye in that much of them the masses so it's introduced him to people that wouldn't have seen him ever before because unless you're a uh, comic book person you know what i mean by that somebody's really reading comic books the general audience did not know who iron fist was they just don't 
this is a great introduction. Unfortunately, his first season, the introduction didn't take well. It, you know, it was not a good intro to the character. Uh, as you hear there, I got an exit coming up. Definitely was not a good take on the character at all. And unfortunately, you know, that's going to make it much harder for the second season to take off because how many people are going to, yeah, I watched the first season, I didn't like it. They're not going to watch the second one. So hopefully, hopefully it's really good and people will give it a chance. You know, the, the best bet probably would have been maybe even to market it with a little cross-pollination from another series from Netflix that was popular. You know, maybe throw Daredevil in and make it an advertising point, you know, and, and the marketing material for it that, hey, Daredevil's going to be this. Or maybe even The Punisher. How cool would that be to get uh, an episode during the series that you see The Punisher in? That would have been awesome. Or even another hero that we haven't seen if done well. But I, I wouldn't push that one. But the one big thing that I think all Netflix series for the Marvel really need to work on is pacing in their storylines. I think everyone's, at least mine too, biggest fuss is the pace of them is too slow. They're trying to make too many episodes out of too little story. They're, it's like padding for the trade. <laughs> it's a... Uh, tell me where to go. It... So, you know, it's like when you sit there, you crack open a book, and you read seven issues, and you're like, huh, that story could have been done in two or three. It, that's a lot like what the Netflix series is, the has been doing. Right, then take the exit right. You know, and especially when we're dealing with a population nowadays that well, it, it's faster paced in a way. It demands everything faster. We don't want to wait. You know, and that's, that's part of the problem. People don't want these decompress things. They want you to get to the point. Get us some action. You need lots of action in Iron Fist. <laughs> okay. So it needs a good pacing, a good story, which actually the first one didn't have too bad of one. But uh, I think we're going to get it. And we're going to need lots of action. I tell you, we need more Colleen Wing. Colleen Wing in this series is awesome. Right? Definitely need more interaction between them. And just for the people that don't follow Iron Fist and didn't read them in the comic books, that, that's another thing that was done a, a little bit different. Is actually it, it, Danny Rand, he was with Misty Knight. Him and Misty had that connection, that love connection, and, and we're together. Not Colleen Wing. So, once again, not matching the story, but you know, it works. I think it's partly to the strength of the, the actress doing Colleen Wing and her performance. She makes herself a really pleasant, interesting character to bounce off of Danny. So if they can really capitalize on that, I think it has great potential. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. Have you, so let me ask you, have you seen Iron Fist season two yet? Or a few episodes from it? What are your thoughts? Are you gonna watch Iron Fist season two or you have no desire to watch Iron Fist season two whatsoever? Uh, are you a big Iron Fist fan? Let me know in the comments. Uh, what was your first, and if you were new to Iron Fist on, on uh, the first season, what was your thoughts? What was your take on the character based on that? I'd like to hear. I'm, I'm guessing it, made, it soured you on the character, but I'd like to know what your take is. All right, everybody. This is uh, another episode of Roll Rage. If you do like these and you actually stuck it through all the way, please be sure to hit like and subscribe and hit that notifications bar. I guess also hit that thumbs up. It makes a big deal, too. <laughs> if you really want to help the channel, help us keep pumping out these videos and have any equipment, but Equipment, make sure you hit up our Patreon where you can help us for as little as a dollar a month. There's been some great patrons here. Uh, recently, I have a patron. I'm going to ask if you mind me mentioning his name before I do his or her name. I don't want to say who they are. But they did a absolutely tremendous donation to the channel to enable me to uh, do a lot more comic book reviews coming up from Alterna. So I'm going to be doing that. And that would not have been possible if it wasn't for that Patreon. Uh, so that, that patron, that was absolutely amazing and greatly appreciated. Um, also, that Patreon money is, as I said, being used to enhance the channel, do things with the channel, and any money after that is going to my comic book. So just so you know, just recently I bought, I ordered a bunch of cables and connections so I could do more uh, live or recorded footage of video games to do more video game production because right now it's a little bit tougher with the way I have it set up. I'm going to have it set up where I can now hook splitter cables and just run it right to my uh, device to run it through my Elgato 
because before I'd have to move the whole system, disconnect it, reconnect it to that, which I know it doesn't sound like much. But it's, it, you know, there's only so much room on the desk and there's already so much on there. And so this is gonna make it so I can do that and do and be able to make those. And it's gonna allow me to do some more retro stuff that way too, as well as a little frugal. Like one of the things I'm really looking forward to doing is uh, doing some shooter games like Virtual Cop 2 with Little Frugal. So I'm looking forward to that. And the money I left after that, which I've been doing, I've been keeping up and saving, you know, for as again more awesome equipment, things like that. But also I'm gonna really need to be saving up hard to get pay an artist because I've now got a, a script writer with me, working with me on the script for my comic book, the C list. And uh, once we get a little bit more of that fleshed out, it's going to be time to start hiring an artist to start getting those pages drawn. Uh, and so that's going to cost some money. <laughs> so I'm going to have to be forking over some cash to do that. So hopefully I can build up on the Patreon to help pay for that so it isn't all out of pocket. All right. Well, that, once again, thank you all. Thank my new subscribers. Thank you for the current subscribers and the ones that have been here from the very beginning. I appreciate you all. This would not be possible without you. The Frugal Force is an amazing group. And until next time, keep it frugal.